there's actually a very clear uh, connection uh, between the war, which has been a disaster, and our economy, which has been a disaster. Uh, the most clear link is the fact that the war, 2003, led to an increase in the price of oil. The price of oil was $25 a barrel in 2003. Um, futures markets, which look at the demands and supplies going forward, saw that there was going to be an increase in the demand for oil from China, India, even the United States. But they thought that there was going to be an increasing supply that was concomitant with that increase in the demand, uh, particularly for the Middle East, which is the low-cost provider. And so they forecast that the price of oil would remain around $25 a barrel for the next 10 years. Well, the war upset that equation. It was very difficult to produce oil out of of the Middle East, and and there were other things that went on, but clearly it was a very important factor in uh, the soaring of the price of oil from twenty five dollars to fifty, then a hundred, and hundred forty. Now it's back to a hundred. Now, why is that important? Well, the United States was spending hundreds of billions of dollars in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, other places that are producing oil. In the past, when prices of oil went up like that, as uh, in the 1970s, uh, it caused an economic uh, downturns. Uh, you're spending that much money abroad, you don't have that much money at home. Uh, some people looked at what was going on in the American economy and said, well, we repealed the old laws of economics. Whenever anybody says that to me, I always say, you know, you're, you're not seeing something going on. And here it was very clear what was going on.